It's about damn time. Hello everyone. Today we are gonna make 10 DIYs that you can make in 10 minutes. Do not take me literally. I know that for some of you it's gonna take like 20 minutes, for somebody it's like five, but I am currently staging a huge property and we are at the final steps and I realized how much the little final touches are fundamental to make the space look all perfect. And for this reason, I decided to make one episode where I'm gonna show you how to make a lot of little design pieces that you can put around your apartment, style it up and make it look Fabulous. Fabulous is like my new world. I keep saying it all the time. Oh, yeah, my name is Mikal. I'm an Italian interior designer in Tel Aviv and I love to make super high design for a very tiny budget. If it's with DIYs or with actually tips about how to make your place look <laughs> incredible, we do it all. This one, guys, is so simple and it's gonna turn out so cool that I still can't believe that I found this. I saw it on TikTok somewhere and I wanted to recreate it immediately. All you need is a frame and some yarn. You can totally choose the color, choose the material to make it thicker, slimmer, and natural yarn, but the process is the same. Get one edge and start wrapping it on one of the sides. We're gonna make a tiny knot on the back. All you have to do is keep in mind what is the direction in which you're going, make the first knot on the back, maybe a double knot, and then start wiggly, 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 around your frame for like five, six centimeters. And now we're gonna do exactly the same thing, but in the other direction, so that all the time they crisscross. Like this. Do exactly the same thing in the other direction and I found it so much more comfortable when I had the frame hanging a little bit outside my table so that I could just wrap it around without having to hold the frame. Over and over and over and over again. Like a hundred times. There is absolutely no rule about when to go vertical, when to go horizontal. You have to do it according to what suits you best and what makes it look better to you. Look at the texture that already is appearing just with a few layers. I find it gorgeous. Now let's spice it up. I initially wanted to do it all with one color, but I got bored pretty easily and I decided that that's not enough for me. So I'm gonna add just a few spots of a different color. This bright blue, let's go. I used here only two colors, but can you imagine how cool it would be even if you mix and do a degradé of the same color? seen my bathroom makeover you know where this piece comes from it's literally the extra table side shelf I don't know what it was that I had that I put away and I'm gonna transform it into some beautiful book holding decorative thing you can totally buy pieces of stone or rock in Home Depot so you can do the same I'm literally just using this one Once you get at least two with a very sharp side, what we're gonna do is get some silicone or super glue, whatever you want, and attach one on the other. Put the silicone or the super glue just on one edge and do not exaggerate because it's gonna overflow. And then put it vertically so that you're sure that when the position is straight and then put it back down so that the pressure and the weight is gonna keep it in place do the same thing also with the second one I love the fact that my two rocks are completely different size it makes it look even more original and more real put it again vertical so to be sure that it's gonna stay the weight on itself and then lay it down so that gravity is gonna keep it in place the result looks so 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 cute I swear I love this I'm gonna make it as a gift actually you know what I'm gonna make every single DIY I made as a giveaway on my Instagram so go and follow it now if you don't do it yet because you can get them all of them did you know that you can actually paint rugs this was like one of my latest discoveries and I want to customize this bad boy that is gonna go on the entrance of my studio I'm gonna create my own text but keep in mind that you can do whatever text or color or pattern that you like I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this super cool thing 
To give myself some guideline, I took out some paper tape and drew on the top and the bottom a line so that I could go straight all the time and then took out a paint that is waterproof and that is going to go strong even if it's under your feet. You have to pass several layers of the same paint and press it so that it gets inside the fabric so that even when you walk all over it, it's not going to go away. So I had to do like five, six layers. At the end, I took away the tape and I made a super big C that could wrap together the entire word and there it is i have the word create that i even have it as the two on my hand and i love it it's gonna be amazing and the perfect entrance rug for my studio or for yours if you win it rug number two this is a little bit bigger but it still falls in the category of the cheapest rugs that ikea has and that is because it's pretty basic but we're gonna make it super bold with a print Follow me. First thing, we are gonna put the carpet backwards simply because it looks better on this side. Same thing on that side. And now we continue going towards the inside by changing the direction of our tape. Now do not underestimate this step because it's probably the most important of all. You need to press as hard as possible the paper tape on the rug. Otherwise, it's gonna leak all the color inside and we don't want that, so do this. And there we go for the exciting part when we are revealing the drawing. So satisfying. It's probably the easiest DIY I've ever done in my life and I can't believe that I've never done a candle before. It's so easy to customize them. You just have to pour some hot water inside a bowl or anything that is big enough to contain your entire size of the candles. Put the candles inside and wait something like 10-15 minutes. After that, when you take them out, it's gonna be so soft that you can customize the shape as you want. I'm gonna show you two examples. I did the first one just as like a little twirl on itself, but actually the candle becomes so soft that it kept falling. So you're gonna have to pass it in cold water later, but I'm gonna show you. This is the first one, and the second instead, I made a sort of S that stays instead on itself, like it looks like a little warm. I find this lovely, and it's so cute as a decorative item on your desk. You're gonna see me now going to the bathroom, turning on the cold water. Wait a second. First, I position it really nicely, and after that, I go to the bathroom. Nicole, to the bathroom. There, here, we're putting it in the cold water. And in the second that it touches the cold water, it becomes immediately solid, it stays in shape, and it's so cute. This kind of paintings went viral all over the place since years, and I've never tried it, and today is the right time. First thing we want to do is create a very dark base. You can totally use an old painting and paint all over it or use a new canvas. Let's start. Oops. The reason that we are creating such a solid base as a background for our painting is because we're not really going to be able to customize or really choose what is it that we're doing in the second step of this piece of art. So we want the background to be one solid big dark color so that the second one that goes on top is literally gonna pop out once you did the entire frame of it you have to go and do also the sides and then i'm not gonna hide it from you this is very complicated i needed to hang a bottle on the ceiling my ceilings are four meters tall this was an adventure but i did it and then you mix water and paint because you want the compost to be very liquidy so that it just drops outside once you had this i made a tiny hole on the bottom of my bottle and threw it yes you just wait for the bottle to go and run in circles. I do not really know why my paint ended up being like dotty, dotty, dotty instead of a little lines as I saw them online. But I have to say that I actually really like it. And when you want to stop the painting from falling, you just use a basket, something, anything that can stop it and then throw it in another direction and you're going to see that the drawing creates itself. 
Look at this. It's so cool. Okay, I'm showing you this on this little pot, but you can literally do it anywhere. You can marble anything. I'm going to use gold and black. You spray it inside a bucket of water, and alternatively, you go first black, for, then gold, then black, then gold, or whatever is the color that you want, till you see it create a pattern. Then you go inside with whatever it is that you want to paint and twirl it on itself while you're putting it inside, and immediately it comes out this incredible print i swear it comes incredible you could never do something so pretty by hand and i'm telling you you can do it even on bigger objects just get a bigger bucket if we spoke about customizing a candle before i'm gonna show you now how to actually create your candle from scratch you need to put like a sort of container that you can put in very hot water so that the candle that melts has a container where it stays and it's gonna be so hot that it becomes liquid. Then I ordered this super cool shapes on AliExpress. I'm gonna put you the link down below. What you have to do is create a little hole in the middle and then pass the candle thread inside that is gonna be what obviously is gonna be burning. You put it outside, upside down and the tip and the trick is to do it on top of a towel so that the bottom of the very soft structure doesn't fold and it becomes fluffy also on the top otherwise the shape destroys then you keep straight the thread that you had inside you pour it inside all the compound of your candle wait for like 20 30 minutes till it's completely solid and you start taking it out of its shape i am so 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 in love with this candle and i ended up ordering so many more new shapes after i did this because it's extremely cheap you can reuse it as many times as you want and guys literally how cute is this how cute is this? So I fell in love with this piece on Pinterest like ages ago and I totally wanted to recreate it for my living room but it's more industrial and this is more boho. I didn't think it would fit but I found this super funky guy at Ikea. Look at the camera and the mess. I don't know who needs to hear this. But the Instagram isn't real. Anyway, we are gonna recreate it with this tiny mirror. As a first step, we simply get our mirror, and then we're gonna get a rope, a string, a yarn, whatever you want to do it, or whatever texture you wanna give to your mirror, and we're gonna go and mark the height at which we want our fringes to start. You can totally do it from the middle. I want it a little bit more on the bottom. Now get a lot of yarn and find anything to wrap it around many times. Also your elbow is gonna go do the trick. Once you have this, you cut it out, you put it in half, and you start making all little knots with all the identical threads that you created before, knotting it on itself. And this is so self-explanatory that I'm gonna take advantage of this moment to give a big thank you to all my Patreon subscribers. And that is Leila, that is Kismet Sarkin, that is Aston Theum, my mom, Asia, Shalom, and Zari. Ooh, yeah, back to the tutorial. Once you created all this thready thingies going down on the bigger thread that you cut it before you're gonna add some glue on the external part of the thread so that it's gonna stay in shape I added also a dot in the middle and then you cut out all the extras and you have your little boho mirror on your wall I think this is so cute and I actually think that it would look cute even if you add more and more layers of this thread I love it so I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe because there's new DIY and design tips and makeovers every single Monday. It's actually finally happening. I'm pretty punctual. Leave me a comment with which was your favorite DIY and see you next Monday.